Hi there, beautiful people. Welcome. My name is Miss Campbell, and today I'm going to share and teach you two different ways how to share Google Slides in Google Classroom. Now, the two different ways are super important because they will determine if your students complete the assignments correctly. And they're super simple, super easy. So I'm going to share my screen with you and just show you what I mean and the difference between the two. So the difference between the two is you are either choosing to A, publish to the web, or B, make a copy for each student. Now you have to choose either or, you cannot choose both. Now, right now, I have a virtual field trip to the Smith Center for my students, right? There are many different slides that students can click on and it will take them to different places because they are hyperlinked and it's super fun. But this slide in particular needs to be shared by publishing to the web and then including the link into Google Classroom. That's the first way. The second way is just if you have a interactive Google slide like this, where you want the students to each type into the Google slides and make their own answers in or drag a word to a box, you want students to have their own copies and each do that, then you would have to make a copy in Google Classroom. And so I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let's first go to your Google Classroom and then I'm going to click on the tab Classwork. I'm going to click on the Create tab, then scroll down to click Assignment because I'm assigning the students an assignment and the assignment is going to be a virtual field trip to the Smith Center. So this is the first way I'm going to show you how to publish, okay? So once you're there, you're going to say virtual field trip or whatever title you like to the Smith Center. Then you give instructions for your students. Please click the link and enjoy your trip, your field trip at the Smith Center. All right, you can make it more detailed, as short and sweet as you'd like. Then you'll go back to your Google Slides. Once you're in your Google Slides and you are finished completing and decorating and making it beautiful and interactive for the kiddos, you'll click the tab File at the left corner, scroll down to Publish to the Web. Now you'll see my, my virtual field trip is already published to the web. So I'm going to stop publishing so I can show you how it is supposed to look. So this is how it's supposed to look when, you're, when your Google Slide is not published. You'll have the yellow button that says publish. You will need to click publish. You can leave the auto slides to every three seconds. You don't have to click anything because students will click it on their own. So you will make sure that you just click the button publish. Once you click the button publish, you will click the button OK that you are sure to publish the selection. Then, voila, you have a link for your Google Slides. You'll right click the Google the link, click copy, and then you will go into your Google Classroom. You'll click the button add, click link, and right click, then click paste. Or if you don't like to right click, you can always hold down the command button, command V at the same time, and your link is pa pasted. Then you'll have to click the button add link. And there you go, that's it. Super simple. Your students will have each a, your students will be able to view this. Now the reason why you need to publish it to the web is because you want your students to not touch anything or move anything. So when your students are seeing this published on the web, this is how it will look. See how it looks? Your students cannot drag anything. They cannot drag anything. Excited for their first virtual field trip. Yay! I am so thank you for attending our virtual class. Now let's And when you go all the way down here, students can click anything and it takes them to another site. So that is the reason why you need to publish it so that students will not mess with your Google Slides and they can click it and have fun traveling to different places that you have included in your Google Slides, okay? So I hope you understand that. That's the first way.
Now, the second way is if you have a Google's interactive Google Slides like this here, where students have to type or students have to drag and make some fun and have some fun, you know? <laughs> so what you would need to do is you would, again, click Create Assignment. You have all your stuff interactive. You make a change to your title, Interactive Google Slides activity. You would say, please click the link and complete the assignment. Now this is complete the assignment. And then you would also add, click the add link, then scroll down to link. And you're going to need to copy the link for this document. So that is the step. So you have to go back to the Google Slides, copy the link. Super important, you listen to this super important advice. When you are sharing, you see how it says private to only me? Well, if you share it with your students and you include it into your Google Slides by copy, and it says private to only me, that means you are the only one who can view this. So if you were to copy this link and paste it into your Google Classroom, your students would not be able to view the document. So you're going to need to open your sharing settings so students can view. So you need to click the yellow button that says share, then you would have to click the you would have to click the shareable link and then it will say anyone at the Tudor Academy Charter School anyone at your school can view do you see the change how it changes if you don't have that in your system where it says your school then you can go ahead and, and click the button more where it, now it has so much more options it says anyone on the public on the web on the internet can find and access there's no signing required Anyone with the link can access, no signing required. Anyone at Fertuta Academy can access and find. Anyone with the link, or you can click off. So you need your students to share. So you need your students to view this document. So you would say anyone at your school who has the link can access this button right here. And, then, and now you make sure that it says can view. So no one right now can edit, right? No one can edit but you. You're the only editor. All your students can view. They can only view, right? No one can edit but you. So then you're going to copy that link. The link is copied to your clipboard. Go back to your Google Classroom and paste your link into the bar by clicking down the right, by right clicking and clicking the button paste or you can click command V paste and click add link. That's it. You're done. And now you can go ahead and change it to classes, change it to your students, whatever you like. Okay. We are teachers who are doing our best during this distance learning time. And I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment below. Let me know and always replay this video for helpful tips. And remember, please turn on the notification, subscribe for more amazing, helpful videos. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.